My name is John Stone. I work at the University of Illinois in the Beckman Institute for Advanced Science and Te Technology. I work in the theoretical and computational biophysics group, and I develop the molecular visualization and analysis tool, VMD. VMD is a tool we develop to allow researchers to visualize and analyze uh, molecular simulations and uh, 3D molecular structures. We've added GPU acceleration to VMD to allow researchers to do calculations that would otherwise be impractical on uh, small computers, desktops, and laptops, and to extend the range of the types of analyses they can do uh, even on big clusters. So GPU accelerated clusters can do the same analysis that people would do otherwise, but they can uh, ex extend the capability by factors of 20 to 40 times faster uh, with the same hardware. Molecular dynamics uh, is basically the simulation of the atomic motions of biomolecules uh, that make up the structures that uh, researchers want to simulate. So these are things like viruses, uh, cellular membranes, things like this. By simulating those atomic motions, we can see things that are so small and so detailed, they're beyond the range of other uh, experimental instrumentation. So a normal microscope uh, can't capture uh, things at this resolution or at this detail. Uh, and we have it in a, in a computer simulation, it's time resolved, and we can actually you know, rewind and, and, and change things. One of the more uh, interesting features we've added to VMD in the last year is the ability to analyze and display uh, the results of quantum chemistry simulations. Uh, quantum chemistry simulations uh, by themselves are very computationally demanding tasks, but even the visualization, just showing uh, the images of the distribution of electrons around a simulated molecule, even doing those calculations is very computationally demanding. Up until now, uh, in order to visualize these types of structures, people used uh, tools uh, that had relatively little interaction Activity. It wasn't possible to easily animate these uh, time varying uh, simulation results. It would require batch mode calculations on a cluster or overnight in order to display a movie of, of one of these things. And a user wouldn't have been able to change the parameters uh, for what they were shown on the screen uh, without recalculating those things from scratch. With the GPU, we can do these things now a uh, factor of 100 uh, to 400 times faster. If we have four GPUs in a desktop workstation, we can calculate these uh, molecular orbitals uh, on the order of 412 times faster than we can on a CPU, and that means we can animate these uh, trajectories in real time.